Hi, everybody. All right, so good morning, Saturday, July 18th, uh, 2020. I'm rolling with a big old hangover from a pilot dinner last night, so I'm going to be a little slow today. Uh, first 30 seconds, this is a, actually a video that I that was next up, but i like, who wants to watch me cleaning up a hangar? That's the most ridiculous thing. What's this file even doing here? So I compressed it down to 25 seconds, and I shoved it in. Or 30 seconds. Today, we are working on fixing up some wire in the tail cone. So there's a lot of work to do to get the tail cone. Uh, and what we were actually working on today is just tacking up. So you've seen me run the extra coax that I need for the two GPS antenna that are on the top of the tail cone behind the rear window. Now it's time to actually run that coax and tack it up along some bulkheads and get it in position. So that's what we are doing today. Uh, and I've got some special help that's actually going to do it. So just to go over real quick, so it's not that the wiring that bundle that came with the tail cone was insufficient. There was a couple of things that needed to do get, you know, fixed up. Like, um, so the pitch trim power, it actually comes out of the pitch servo, which are two different things. The problem is, is that it needs to be shielded because it's pulse width modulated, right? So it's 12 volt max right so it's it sends anywhere between 3 and 12 volts to the motor because it does auto trim right so auto trim is the idea that if you're doing 500 knots you don't want that trim motor to be running at full speed because you'll just get thrown you know trim needs to be very delicate at cruise speeds and it needs to be very coarse at slower speeds but so because of that you really need to have some shielded wire that's what Garmin recommends unfortunately the kits wiring is not shielded so like that got replaced uh, there was a UAT RG coax run down to the back for UAT antenna. We're not putting the UAT antenna in, so like that got removed and you know things like that. So there's the standard wire bundle. You can see it's running up the right side. Sorry for the lack of light, because uh, I wasn't you know like as your director of photography really wasn't thinking about you. It was just thinking about getting the wiring done. Uh, we're putting it up the right side and using the same area that the static lines are going up, right? So that's all going up, and it's pretty simple. It just goes up around the side of the bulkhead and then comes forward along a lateral bulkhead that runs at, along the top of the tail cone, which you can kind of see. It's it's hard it's hard to see up there. All right, so while that's going on, let's uh, go over some news, maybe some rants. Um, there's my assistant for the day. She's got the crackola out like her husband. She'd be mortified if she saw this. All right, let's do a quick rant. Um, to the homeless loving people of the San Francisco Bay Area, f you. And to a couple of the homeless people that actually live here on the island, f you too. Look, these aren't protected. It, it's they're not some kind of endangered bird that you need to protect okay these are people with problems and they need help right mostly because the people around here are let's see what's the word I'm looking for oh yeah Pussies. they don't want to deal with it they just want to throw money at it and it doesn't work right you you, you, want, you want to do some crazy stuff like there's this one guy he likes to sit on the park bench on Main Street because we got park benches for people to sit because it's a lovely island and he'll just take his shirt off and start scratching himself all over and it's like that's just get the f out it's awful awful man doesn't it's just look he needs help the thing is he doesn't care like he could be a, like a master woodworker he doesn't care because he likes living on the street and being a complete ass uh, that's enough of that. Uh, just, it's just, it, you know, it, it, it's, and, and during this weird time, it, all of this stuff is getting highlighted, and it's just, it's crazy. That's, that's enough of that. All right, so, you can see here, I'm uh, drilling holes in that lateral uh, bulkhead that uh, is going forward, and that's where we're hanging both of the, uh, both of the pieces of coax. And I've got a nice, now, I didn't put, like, a, a true service loop right so that you know the idea of the service loop is that you got a ton of extra wire and you loop it near the end where it's going to terminate that way should anything happen you can cut some off and put a new terminal on right 
Um, I didn't put a full loop, but I've got a ton of slack, just in case it, you know, doesn't work out. So that's good. Uh, let's see. No, I think that's pretty much it. Alright, everyone have a good weekend. Don't get as drunk as I did. Have a safe time. Be safe. Isn't that what they, people tell each other? Don't get sick. Uh, try to avoid uh, Sam the Bum and... <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so have a good weekend. Thank you for joining me, everybody. See you soon.